Таинственный в огне Кто читает свои сны Поклоняюсь темноте And today we are back With Boar the Walking Dead We just get started right on it We're starved for help Cause we're hungry Yeah That's what we are he said, that woman ate my chicken. Kenny, it's okay. We can get a new one. No, we can't. The chicken was delicious. That's pretty much what she is saying right now. So I'm just going to start, start this up. Of the walking dead. I know who you are. I Fucking got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Yep, and that's about it. That man punched me in the face and he called me a liar. I cannot believe that. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we're in the bushes. Excellent place to start. Hi -ya! Yeah. And I got a new outfit. Because I'm cool like that. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. I'm no so food. hungry. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's old got man's a problem a with you. Dickhead. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. 
And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Hmm. Don't. Yeah, it's walk. not worth it. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just, just really, really freaking hungry. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hit me. Aha! Uh -huh. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Kenny! Thank you. Keep screaming. Let me hear the sound of your beautiful voice. My leg! Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why you the said... fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the <laughs> hell happened? What Mr. happened? Said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but Lee, uh... this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh, you didn't notice a giant chain? Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. There's got to be something we can do. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Somebody do this. Get me do out of this. Please, we can't just leave him like this. That's not going to work. You have Why to get him Jay, out. You have to. Okay, I'm going to have to, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to cut you out. Let's go. No, no, let's no. go. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh. oh god, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Trust me, this hurts me a lot more than it hurts you! I'm pretty sure. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna fate. I'm gonna fate. Oh my god. <laughs> Yep, I know the feeling, man. I feel exactly the same way. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Oh my goodness, that was disgusting! Disgusting! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! He had time, but I mean... Ah, zombie that was walking very slow to me. Whoops, I tripped. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic there. Episode 2, Starved for Memes. Yeah, you use that rock. Just stupid.
Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, oh, what the hell? What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! Burst Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive mm. just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Look what I drew! What? No, what? I, no, I just, just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. Mm. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I'm on the side of the tree. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Shut up and have a heart attack again, old man. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I speak for the trees. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. How many pieces did I get? Did I get four? Okay, four pieces of food. <laughs> the look of despair. I, I already know who I'm giving it to. Kids first. Always kids. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Uh, sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days sure, ago. Sure, Clem Clem, I got I you promise. back. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Play with the idiot child. But first, I feed Clem. Clem is the most worthy. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. You're gonna get the, uh, apple because you need to be healthy. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here, 
idiots love yeah. jerky. Oh man, I'm so hungry. You're my wife, so Want I gotta give to you something. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm Shut okay. it, wife. Eat. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Sleeping any better? Do you sleep no. better at night? I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Look at this meat handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. No, fuck hand, Larry. Giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? Foreshadowing. You we all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Foreshadowing. Back in a bit. I tried to give her food, but he wouldn't give me food, so I'm going to give Kenny food today. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to someone else because I don't care if I. How's eat. it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. You sh shut your whore mouth up and bitch, I am. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. Maybe I'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I'm gonna have to give him food. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I feel like if I give the axe to Larry, he'll start to like me more. too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I'm gonna I don't fucking care take your you food is, back. But you two have got to start trying to get along. <laughs> the only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. He voted for Trump confirmed. He's He has an unrelinquishing desire to build this wall. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Please. Please he didn't come. Make it, did he? he lost too much blood. God damn it. 
I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Get away! Get away! Yeah. I must separate the walls of Moses! Don't ah. me! Get off of the damn way! Damn it! I had it! Fuck! Help! Hey! Get off of me! Okay, I'm just gonna whoop. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Get off! Shoot it! Don't stop the oh, oh, oh my foot! Get off me! That was you okay? spooky. Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. I'm gonna do a Rick. We're all infected. Everyone. I I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think. I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Hmm. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Roger, Roger. So, uh, what do y'all think? I'm thinking, sweet Jesus. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> you think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? 
You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. <sighs> She's wife material. I mean, thank She's God my wife. He showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I'm from... I move around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Mm -hmm. Well, Change we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. Damn. Oh shit! No one's <laughs> running out of anything. You and Gary are always poking the bandits. Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fuck you! You guys are talking to Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. Fuck you! Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck, fuck, fuck you! you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! I <laughs> just like how fuck you! <laughs> Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Uh, no, don't try and take the crossbow at all. How to salv salvage that stuff? Anything I could get my hands on, I'd take. <laughs> I just like the fuck you. <laughs> Here it is, St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Hmm. Seems nice. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, yeah, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? 
Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here mm. again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Mm. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? You might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at the <laughs> broken defense. swing equals right. broken I'll keep fence. My eyes open and you find out what broken you fence do. equals broken everything. I think his name is Omar. Oh, it's Mark. It's completely off. I feel off bad now. Mark 2020 president. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Hmm. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. Mark and I can Yeah, let's fix perimeter. this perimeter. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn I don't off know the why, but I just and, feel... Uh, you guys I don't could feel strip right. them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. For the record, if anybody's watching, I've never played this game, so... Yeah, I just don't feel right. It doesn't... It feels too good to be true. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? Shut up, Mark. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you? Everyone what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous. Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. 
There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Yeah, because gas runs out eventually, you know? Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Yeah, I Come think on. So. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here. Push! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh. What the? Get to the gate! Oh no! Arrows! Get down! Jesus! We had three! Now you fuck! Who the fuck is fuck that? You. No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! We had an agreement. Now, get out of the open. You asshole. You got lucky that Okay. Ah! Get closer. You, 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 I just got the new boots put in on my tractor. Come on out! Quick, he'll see you. Over there! Oh shit! I already got one of you. We don't, don't know you. you. Ah. Um. Oh, I saw that. Give us some food. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. That was a sneaky. Ah, a sneaky. Weep. <laughs> How many arrows do you have? What happened? Shit. I wanted the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. I don't think that is one of the dead we pushed down earlier. It looks a little too fresh. We're going with the tractor. Where are you going? Another one? 
How many of those things did you push down? You asshole! I already got one of you! This one isn't. This one isn't. I can do this all day. Yep, thought as much. Getting closer! Suka Blat! Blat! Thanks, bandits! Let's get out of here! They just keep saying the same thing. started attacking from the woods and we got trapped between them and the fence holy shit are, are you okay i heard mark yelling thought y'all were giving me the all clear man i am real sorry oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out those God damn it hurts. bastards hey y'all Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. I wanna you guys help Dan. To make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I'm gonna stop the stream right here real quick. I'll be back. I'll be back in a second. I just gotta finish, fix something up. Sorry about that. I had to fix it because it started doing that thing where it lags. Not lags, I'm sorry. It doesn't lag. It just, um... It just made it unsync with the voices, but I fixed it and we're back. Okay, so there's the um, there's the fight pit. Let's look in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. But I want to go in. If there's not enough room in the house, I guess homes, not. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts.
Oh yeah, we have to go to that guy. I'm ready to kill some bandits that were like, fuck you! <laughs> Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. All right, Clem, Clem. Hold down the fort, Clem, Clem. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Ah, I can't. Oh shit, you found it? Hmm. I don't see anything. Let's move nice and slowly. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small, it can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Hmm. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Hmm. Nothing. Empty. Empty! Just like my heart! Just casually push it. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. A chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. 
Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. What do you find? Camera. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Well, I hate to admit it, but she is technical. I, I feel like she's the leader because she does keep Nothing us trained and Shit. makes the harder decisions. So yeah, technically she is the leader, even though I would want to be Indeed. the leader. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We out here eating. Oh, goodness. Let me see. Mm, there's a doll. Ow. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, Not my balls. Right String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Hmm. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. 
That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see we this, head back they'll get the message. We had the back of Bappy the Boopy took a shot right in the face. Oh, goodness. Hmm. It's very suspicious. He was worried about the camera, and he was. And then she was gonna say something, but he shot her. I mean, it's kind of hard to say if he was protecting me or if he was hiding something. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Your sons are fucking with you. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. <laughs> you guys have so much sexual tension. Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Mm. They gotta go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hmm. How dare you close the door on me, Clem? Oh yeah, I got your hat. You gotta give her hat back. I'm gonna go talk to Larry first. I'm just kidding. His name's not Larry. Ha! I'm gonna go talk to Lily. Let's see what they're crying about now. Looks like it's gonna rain. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then, he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the Motor Inn, where we at least know what to expect. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need <sighs> to open your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. You need to shut up before I hit you in the face with something very hard. Like, if you keep talking like that, I will punch you in the face. Or, like, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very eager t to hurt you. Like, <laughs> you talk so much shit, old man. Like, I'm sorry, but I will kill you. Just, I'm just, I just want to bash his head in. Just, mmm, he pisses me off. It's okay, mm. Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katja says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? 
Then you said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Here's your hat, child. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, Good girl. Do you think you'll ever have kids? <sighs> I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Hmm. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Protect yeah, I'll protect no Clem no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachin, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what oh, I think you're saying. Oh, you racist. I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> you racist motherfucker. <laughs> He said, because you're See black. Those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. What is <laughs> it? Shit. Can I help you boys find something. What's behind mm -hmm. this door, Andy? Just two. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. You know? We'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. Empty. Empty. Hey, guess what it is? What? It's empty. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Why do you lock that door? 
Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff, even with the fancy. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Jeez. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You're a great to all of society. It's not there. Highly doubt a screwdriver would be in here, though. It's kind of just... Looks like it's just stuff. Hmm. I did that one to that one. It should be the last door then. There's, there has to be something here. Ah, there is what? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. False alarm. I'm back. Hmm. I clearly need a screwdriver, but I don't know from where. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys. <sighs> oh, God. I do it without it. Need to talk to Lily. Need to come firm with Lil. Lil, is this okay? Am I doing right? Am I doing good? What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. <laughs> that that just arm. How he is. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. <laughs> but he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. You're not my dad! After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. 
I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. I need to find a screwdriver somewhere. Where does one find? Oh, there might be a screwdriver in the toolbox. Yeah. I'll take that. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. It's not what I need, though. Gas cans? No, don't need gas cans. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. You really like that gun. What's not hey, to he like? Looks... Not much, I guess. Exactly. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. You're scary. <laughs> that just got creepy. This is a, what is this? Ooh. Oh, it's a multi-tool. So it's a screwdriver too. Oh, snip. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Oh, the That thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Try this. There. That should do. Through a bell. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Can I talk to him? Is he okay? I'm just gonna go in the bar now while you're doing that. Ha <laughs> ha! Destruction! See, I'm smart. I I is smart. I do smart things. <laughs> Ominous music. Holy crap, why was my screen having it? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Keep that thing off. Yeah, that's fucking smooth. I'm gonna get fucking murdered. Oh my god. I thought it was just a snipper. I didn't know it was a screwdriver. No, I have to do every single one. Are you kidding me? Oh my 
goodness. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. <laughs> My radar is going off the fucking scales. Excuse me, we had to lock the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. First thing I'm fucking doing. Looking at this. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Some kind of lotion. Could use a shave. Gauze pads. I'm taking my ass upstairs. Ah, oh, creepy walking. Come on, just run up there, you fucker. up here resting. Is that blood? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. I'm following that line. <laughs> Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Candles. Smart. What do they need so much morphine for? Ugh. What is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? No! Oh no! I'm, my skin's crawling! that cord going? Oh no. I'm afraid what I'm gonna find. Mark! Mark! What the hell happened? Uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, uh, man? Don't eat dinner. Stop your clam! No! Clementine! No! no. Uh, 
Uh, uh, good job. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had to stop. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better affairs. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Fuck! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? What? Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking no, out of go here! here my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? I will fucking murder you! I'll kill you! Mark, did you join the party? <laughs> Is that you? Please. <laughs> oh my goodness. I knew it. I fuck oh, you. Goddamn door. You can't keep us in here. <laughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands! You gotta find another way out of here! <laughs> Yo, shit! <laughs> fucking bastards! <laughs> Open this door, goddammit! <laughs> I will knock the goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you had Drag your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. Man, we're shit got quick, real, here. real quick. Shut up. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. yeah. I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge. Even after I saved your fucking life. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really but guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Please settle down! I'll rip Larry! Fuck it. Come on, try us out. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us. Your dad's not making things any <laughs> easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! <laughs> oh, shit. You're not gonna open the door. Dad, this isn't helping. 
I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Liam? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, 300-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Kenny, listen! Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bit. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bit. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. Ah! On my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. I'm helping him. Let's get this you over. fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no. Get off me. Don't do this. I had to! I told you I'd bash his fucking head in! I told you I'm gonna bash his fucking head in the first moment I got! Die! Yeah! I don't care! I actually feel good about that one. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Don't you fucking touch me! Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. I know. I don't care. I'm 100% okay with that. I need you to be strong. I told you I was going to bash his brains in. Foreshadowing. Like what? How about you? Walkie talkie. Talkie. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're going to get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. That motherfucker had it coming. Yeah, I'm not talking to her. <laughs> you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she'd probably side with the St. John's against us. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. Chloe. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about about what you did. Pull yourself your together! Right. right, because you fucking care so much about me. Uh, you know, I, I'm tr I'm not gonna be your friend you if you can't see what was wrong. And plus, he was kind of an asshole. One of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. 
Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. Hmm. His dad did say he had spare change. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lee. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Yeah, I can't feel sorry for I no, nope, oh, don't feel sorry. Boy. I feel like I didn't break his head enough. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your dad was an asshole. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Go. Two quarters and a dime. Wow, you're actually more help to us than literally anything else was. That's the most you actually helped ever. Congratulations, Larry. You were the real MVP. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Steep. Steep. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do this. I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. Go, Clem, Clem. I believe in you. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Now we wait for Clem, Clem. She did it. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Let me. You gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. Got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. These are the bear traps we came across, too. Ooh. Hey, 
Watch your step. That's slippery. Stocking up an ammo and weapons. Oh. Don't know what's better. God, what's wrong with these people? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. stick with the taser because the taser can pair like can actually put someone out of commission like with one zap Jesus this is where they put your people sick bastards all of them I feel like that's a safer place so what's the plan that dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Let's go, kill him. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Uh, we just sitting out in the rain with damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep, and to kill the rest. And I pick each one. Not the kid. Bring up meat on the tray. Oh, I know. I know. This is my favorite part too. When I let one think they can just walk right out. <laughs> Take him out <laughs> together. He doesn't look around. He's gotta walk past us to get to the knee locker. He can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. Lee. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Fuck that! Oh, fuck you! Oh, okay. Just didn't work like that, I guess. Yeah, Kenny, get his ass! Oh, thank God, that was. <laughs> thank goodness that was not. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Can't! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. Uh, 
Yeah, well, that's because I wanted to hear. I'm kind of done with you, so... We'll talk later, Clem. You need to learn that it's kill or be killed here. Your brother's dead, asshole. Man, this everything went to hell. Kenny! Kenny! God, are zombies here now? Yeah, of course zombies would be here. Huh? <gasps> There's my wife! I was wondering where my wife was! Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. We need your help. When you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I like her. She knows me for who I am. Left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Damn right I did. Notice that up there. Zombie Mark, I have an idea. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. I'll do it! Please! <laughs> I'm gonna play her. T Zombie Mark's gonna get her. Get her. Get her. Grab her hair. Yeah! Grab her. Eat her. Nom 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 nom. Who the fuck do you people think you are? 
Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down? What for? Huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline! Good, nice work. Fuck you! I'm gonna kick your ass! Yeah! Up, oh, we're falling! Up! Oh. Man, my recovery sucks! Oh, god damn it! Carly, I could really use him! You know, you could shoot him now! Oh, I don't, I don't wanna! Oh, get off me! I don't have anything! No! Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy! Can I get aid? There's multiple people here! Why isn't anyone else helping? Oh, I'm mashing so hard! No! I'm not gonna let it happen! I can't! No! No! My thumb's hurting! My thumb's actually hurting! Uh, no! Uh, Oh god, somebody please do something. I'm getting tired. What the fuck? I'm just in an endless struggle. <laughs> this is a little awkward now. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I've been here for a while, so I'm just gonna die now. Lily, help! You bitch! You actual bitch! Ugh. Left and right. Look at my face. Look how serious is my face is. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Ow. You. Ah, okay, so I was supposed to kind of let it lose, but my button mashing skills were so awesome. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! As soon as Danny Mama get out here! You... You all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead! What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Yep, finishing it. I said it's over. No loose ends. Go. 
That was brutal. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. I really don't. Katja managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. I'm with you, Kenny. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? We fucked up. We fucked up. We fucked up real good. You can't say that, man. The rest of us are alive, aren't we? Yeah, I know. I've got your back. We made the right choice, but what the hell happens now? Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Shoot. Slowly, but oh, I can't walk backwards. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. 
Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. <laughs> Who says it's your decision to make? Who says it's your decision to stop me? Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Hey, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. Survival of the fittest, lady. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Nope! The batteries in the opposite direction. Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. They were watching us. foreshadowing? Does that mean they're gonna come for us now that we took out the dairy? Next time on The Walking Deed. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phase starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Mm, Maybe people out there got things lined up? Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Ooh, spicy! Spicy meatballs. Only 38% of us killed both of the brothers. Yikes. Well, that's going to be the video here. If you guys like it, be sure to like, comment, 
and subscribe to my channel, Elecard Gaming, and I will see you guys later. Peace, brothers.